Hey guys, welcome back to Big LT. If you didn't know this already, I hate pure leaf sweet tea with a passion. Like, the, it, it, it doesn't taste sweet. It's very, very dull when it comes to sweetness. But today, you know, today I've been craving tea um, the, because, you know, um, that happens sometimes and that's understandable, right? Well, um, my, my high school sells the sweet tea, but it's diet sweet tea because it's, uh, it's, um, it, my school district is against sweet, sweet, um, it's, it, it, they're against, um, sugary drinks and stuff. So they give us, uh, uh, you know, my, in my opinion, the even worse crap that has, that has fake sugar in it. Which I think is even worse than just normal sugary drinks. Like, seriously, y'all. Like, fake sugar, first off, it tastes very disgusting. And second off, I believe it's un it's even more unhealthy than, than a normal sweet tea or a normal soda, you know. So, yeah. I, I think, um, I think um, the only tea that's sold at the school is Gold Line. I think that's what it is. Uh, so far, I only know of gold line making diet tea. Uh, so yeah, and apparently it's not too popular. Like, I do know some people, um, they would usually make fun of it because they say it tastes like crap. Uh, that, that was like ninth grade and stuff. Ever since I didn't hear anything about it, but I've known about it since ninth grade. That's when I discovered that diet tea existed. So yeah. I went to the RTI for my culinary arts, and they had tea there because, uh, cause we had like a, a lunch there because it's a culinary arts class. You cook crap, but the the chef um, actually cooked it because we're not we're not cooking yet. We still need a uh, training, aka doing very very much. I mean, wait, let's re let's reword that. So we're not we're not cooking yet because we need more quote-unquote training which is basically just filling out notes on a damn google slide damn google slides you know so yeah but on fridays we would wash the dishes and uh, just clean the kitchen and just clean the kitchen in general and we'll also eat lunch there and uh i already eat lunch at the high school so i'm not really too hungry so i always get the drinks and stuff Today they had tea for some reason. They usually don't have tea, and uh, I was just like, "Oh hey, they finally have, they have tea." Like, you know, because today I was wanting tea. Yeah. So and, yeah, and my sh the chef said, "Oh, um, we got uh, we got uh, uh, Coke, we got Dr Pepper, and we got tea, sweet tea. That's the only tea." So I was just like, "Oh yeah, it's time for some tea." And I found out it was from Pure Leaf, and I was just like, Ugh. "If you guys don't know, I think Pure Leaf tastes like crap. The Pure Leaf tea, it it just doesn't taste good. It it's really a bad tea. It's like the worst tea I've I've ever drunk, other than unsweet tea. So yeah, but you know, um, it's been a while since I drunk this, so I was just like." Maybe they, maybe they might have added something like a little bit more sugar to make it more sweet and stuff. But guess what? I, I am um, drunk it, and I was just like, I'm thoroughly disappointed because nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. So yeah, and I also uh, challenged myself to jug it down. All right, um, my par my parents came out. And they told me that they're going to St. Robert's to get a giant patio set, but uh, me and my sister can't come along because the box for the patio set is like very, very big and all four of us as a family would not fit. You know, it's not much of a loss because let's be honest, um, I kind of, I kind of ran the... I kind of ran St. Roberts and all the in, in the area around it pretty dry when it comes to tower videos. Like, you guys already seen like all or most of the towers there, 
and it's kind of getting boring I I I can imagine so yeah it's not much of a loss but um, we we would have had a st. Roberts we would have had another st. Roberts arc just right now but it, it's not happening sadly because of some giant ass box so like I said I was just like Oh, maybe Pure Leaf changed. It's been like a while since I drunk some Pure Leaf. It's like the, the last time I drunk Pure Leaf was like one of the first days of ninth grade when my parents bought an entire pack of it and I drunk it and now it's just like, okay, it still tastes bad. It still tastes like crap. So yeah, Pure Leaf has never been my favorite tea in the entire world, but I'm going to jug it. I and I already told you this, but I attempted to, I attempted to jug it earlier while at the, while in my culinary arts class, but I failed because uh, I almost started coughing because uh, I don't know. It's just that, that that's something that never happened when it came to that. That's something that doesn't happen when it when I jug crap. So yeah, so I'm going to jug it. And I gotta hurry this up too, cause I got because I have to keep an eye on my cat and dog. So yeah, let's uh, let's do it. <sighs> Here it goes. Oh my god. I need some Barks root beer. That needs washed down. You, you guys, I, I, I'm not joking when I say that that this tea is the worst tea ever. Like, it is complete trash. I'm out of here.